Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be fixing my subscribers' beats. So I figured because this is gonna be the last video of 2021, I wanted to collab with some of you and let you step into the new year with some beats that you hopefully like. But yo, before we get into it, I wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who's showing love and support throughout 2021. At the beginning of the year, I set myself a target to get to 50k subscribers, and right now we're currently on about 93,000, so just crazy numbers. I'll be doing another huge giveaway when I get to 100k, and I'm also gonna be dropping a free loop kit before that so if you're new to the channel then consider subscribing if you want to get access to the free loop kit and the giveaway and plus videos every tuesday and thursday at 6 p.m but let's get straight into it all right so the first one is from milky beats and shout out to milky beats this guy gets involved all the time he's always dropping comments he's there for every youtube premiere so yeah i had to show love back and this is what he sent me all right so i think he's going for that dark uk style it looks like one of my arrangements. Alright, I can see or I can hear that the 8 weights out key straight away. So that's one thing I can fix. But it's good to see him using the prick kit. And then it sounds like he's layered that with some keys. Yeah, and then in this section, let's just see what this is. So it's almost like an art version. All right, cool. I think I know what to do with this. All right, just to bring some low end to that melody, I'm going to add half time. Around about there. And I'm just going to try adding in some string bass. Another one here. Okay, I'm going to add this pad as well, just to thicken up the melody. I'm just going to have that repeat. And everything was a bit low, including the drums, so I'm just going to bring some of these up. I wonder what this melody sounds like reversed. Ooh, that actually sounds cold. And then just repeat that. Alright, next up I'm going to add some vocals and a lot of people ask me where I get my vocals from. Most of them are just from Contact Banks or Splice. This is one that I love, it's called Lyrical Vocal Phrases. In the vocals, before I do any processing, I'm going to turn the reverb and delay off from here because I want to chop it up first and then add my own. So I'm just going to render this out and then I can chop it from here because I want to take this section and then repeat that. Yeah, that sounded better, but we definitely need some reverb on there. And then some delay too. Try that. All right, I'm gonna repeat this section instead. I just don't like the way it ends. And then I'm gonna make this one unique. I'll reverse it and try and take another part to just finish it off. All right, and I think I just wanna bring this last note up. So I'm gonna try and pitch it up a few semitones. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So I've got the vocals down, but I'm gonna add a violin now. And then when I start arranging it, I'll have one section with the vocals and then I'll switch it to the section with the violin. Oh, this one in arcade sounds sick, actually. I'm just going to have that one play. Alright, cool. I think that's going to be enough for the main melody right now. So yeah, the 8 weight is definitely out of key. I think it should be hitting D sharp. And some of the plugins that he's added, I don't even have. So I'm going to have to get rid of them. And maybe just pick a different 8 weight. Actually, I like the sound of this posted one. And by the way, if anyone's bought the Prickit Volume 4 in the past, I've actually released an update. So all of these 808s here, these are new. So you should have got an email. So I could keep some of the patterns. Cool. 
and then I'm gonna replace the fruity soft clipper just for the T-Rex classic clipper. Then I'm gonna turn it up. Right about there. All right, and for the rest of the sounds, I like the counter snare, so I'm gonna keep that, but just turn it up a bit, and then I'm gonna change the snare. All right, and for the counter snare, I like what it's done with Panamatic. It's going between both ears, but I'm just gonna bring the mix level down so the majority of it is in the center, but you still get that whip. I actually kind of like the pattern, but I just wanna create a new one. Alright, so moving on to the rim. I think it sounds cool, but I've got a different idea. So I'm gonna copy the counter snare and paste that into the rim and then just get rid of a lot of them. So I'm gonna copy this. Alright, cool. I think I've got enough to work with now, so I'm just gonna quickly arrange it and I'm gonna keep the same kind of structure. And then I'll need to create a second eight weight pattern too. Alright, let's add a riser too. Orca bring it down. Yeah, there we go. Alright, the last thing that I'm adding is just a gunshot before the drop. Actually, for this bit, it's gonna be like a bridge. So I'm gonna take most things out and then have a synth bass in there. Okay, so this was before. So I did keep the main melody. And then this is after. I think the only thing missing is our tags, but I don't think this was in the folder. We'll get that sorted though. Yo, this one sounded crazy. The second strings fit perfect in it. Alright, so the next one's from Emil. He didn't include his socials or anything, so I'll have to add those to the description when I have them. But he sent me this. I like this melody, you know, this is kind of catchy. It's like a good freestyle melody. I like that bass too. Yo, this beat's actually hard. This don't even need fixing, really. This is one of those perfect freestyle beats. I just want to hear what this next section is. Yeah, this beat doesn't really need much, you know. It didn't need fixing, but I can think of a couple things that I'd personally add to it, but this might just be personal preference. Let me just start off with the mix, though. The 8 weight already has a kick at the beginning, so sometimes I like to do this just to make it cleaner. I get rid of that kick and then go to the envelope and just have the attack up a little bit. And I'll bring the hold up and everything else down. <laughs> 
And then in the 8 weight, I'll just add another one at the end, highlight everything with Control A, and then press Alt and L, and that's just gonna join them up. And then I've just replaced the soft clipper with the classic clipper, brought the slope down a bit. Kick's fine, I think this is one from the Prick Kit Volume 3, so definitely a sick kick. Just bring the 8 weight up a bit. Gonna normalize the hi hat. Just gonna bring the second one up a bit. Alright, let me hear the snares that it's got. Because there's quite a few layered. So that's a counter snare. I might just get rid of these three and replace it with one. I think this one. We'll get that turned up. Alright, next let's take a look at the counter snare. Can turn them up. Gonna move some of them. All right, now I can just copy that over and then just pan those to the right a bit. All right, this one sharp frequency. I think it's this one here, so I'm just gonna bring that down a bit. And I think in this section here, if I swap that long 808 for a shorter one, it's just going to add some variation. I think it'll sound sick. And then I'm going to use this transcend 808. I think that kick just hits a bit cleaner now. So let me hear this transition. And I'm going to see what some of these notes sound like as slides. Alright, I'm gonna keep the second eight weight pattern pretty much the same except get rid of this one. And I could add a slide note here. Just so. And then I think I wanna change this rise too. Alright, let's try this one. Just pitch it down a bit. Maybe one more. All right, and I think just before this drop here, I'm gonna take that, make it unique, and then bring it down an octave. All right, so for this next section before it drops, I just need to bring the last eight of weight down so the tail doesn't go over. And uh, maybe I could bring that riser back. in here get rid of that one all right so in this bit i'm gonna do something similar i'm gonna have the first eight away here and then i'll swap it for this one see how this sounds sounds sick here a drum fill all right let's try this so i'm gonna set this to stretch and then just bring this out all right and then for the intro because to me it sounds like a freestyle type of beat i want the drop to come in quicker so i'm actually gonna half this but i'll keep some of this section and then some of this section and i'll just see what it sounds like and then i might just need to change something in the bass All right, cool. So I haven't actually changed much or added much to this beat. But like I said, the project didn't even need fixing. I've just added things to my personal taste, but I'll show you what it sounded like before and then after. All right, this is before. So to me, the intro just seemed a little bit long. I might 
have cleaned it up a little bit. And then this is after. So I shot in the intro just to get to the drop quicker. I think this beat goes crazy. I didn't want to add anything melodic because I don't know, I feel like it's one of those freestyle beats you don't need much. Counter snare I did was just bouncing off the other ones, rather than layering. And then I added the shot right away. That just adds nice variation. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beats and if you want to get involved in the next one I mainly announce these things in my discord so I've left a link to that in the description but yo once again thank you all for a crazy 2021 I think 2022 is gonna be even bigger so yeah much love to everyone supporting and I'll see you in the new year